Uh, hi, I am Subha. Today we are here to discuss about uh, app installation issue. Like for example, there are a number of third party apps in uh, Teams. Uh, so when we try to install app, we see some type of issues. So I will talk about the issue and as well as the solution uh, related to that. Like I will take uh, some apps as an example, but its issues are not related to the, those specific third party apps. It's related to any apps, any third party apps or uh, any LOB apps as well. So I'm just taking some apps as an example in my uh, uh, tenant. Like uh, for example, let me just take Nature app. Here I have the app and I'm just clicking on add to team. I'm selecting my team. And you're clicking on uh, setup tab. So usually uh, this particular app, right, need to be co configurable tab need to be added to uh, particular team channel, but uh, it is failing. It is showing the issue like permissions needed. Ask your IT admin to add this app for you. So when we face this issue, we need to uh, check some configurations in the Azure portal, uh, but before going to Azure portal, uh, we'll see the particular app details in the uh, Teams Admin Center. So under the Manage Apps, let me search for the particular Nurture app. Uh, so here under the Permission section, we see uh, majorly two sections. One is org wide permissions and another is uh, resource specific uh, consent permissions, RSE permissions. Like org wide permissions means uh, for particular app, uh, right? They will uh, have an Azure AD app registration. In the Azure AD app registration, uh, app developer can add uh, uh, graph API permissions like uh, delegated permissions or application permissions to the app registration. So once those permissions are added to app registration, global admin can navigate to particular app here and they can click on this review permissions and consent. So it will take the consent from the global admin so that it will not prompt it will not require to prompt for the end users. It's not required. There is some, uh, it could be because uh, there will be some uh, uh, global admin required permissions are added, right? In that case, only global admin can give the consent. End users cannot give the consent. So this section will be helpful uh, to grant the consent. So global admin can navigate here and they can review permissions and give the consent. So uh, this particular app functionality will work based on the requirement. So that is about the org wide permissions. Uh, and because of this, there, sh there will not be any issues with the app installation. So for example, when we are trying to add the app, right here we are facing issue. Even though the consent is not granted, uh, so th there will not be any issues in the teams uh, at the time of installing the app. Uh, issues will occur only with the RSC permissions. RSC permissions means, uh, mm -hmm. for example, there is a team member dot read dot group or team uh, teams activity dot send there will be different type of rsc permissions these permissions can be added to the app manifest app package it can be added to the it need to be added uh, to the app package manifest so when user is trying to install the app into any teams channel then it will consider as it will consider as a the particular uh, user giving the consent to access that particular team's channel resources. So the particular app graph API permissions, right? It will only be granted to read the data for the particular team's channel only. It cannot read the data from other team's channel. For example, uh, teams um, team member dot read dot group. If you give that permission, then using that permission, this particular app can read the data only from that particular uh, team's channel. It cannot read other team's channel members' information. But if we add uh, org wide permissions, right, uh, app will get access to read uh, other uh, team channel members' information as well. So to avoid that issue, uh, usually the RSC permissions are recommended. So app will be able to read only the data related to that particular uh, team channel wherever the app is getting installed. So at the time when the user is trying to install the app to that particular team channel, it takes the consent from that user. It will not explicitly ask, but uh, uh, at, when the user is ask, installing the app, it, it takes that uh, particular uh, user consent and uh, uh, app will be able to read the 
a particular information based on the permissions, whatever is added, right? Uh, it, it will be granted. But uh, to grant these resource specific consent, right? Global admin cannot give the consent for these permissions. These need to be granted by end user only. So this giving the permissions uh, using this RSC permissions uh, need to be allowed for the user. So for example, if you go to Azure portal and the enterprise applications in your uh, Azure Active Directory, right? Uh, enterprise applications, consent and permissions. Here in this section, there are two different settings. User consent for the applications, group owner consent uh, for apps accessing data. So usually by default it is allowed, but uh, if we if if the tenant admin change this option to not allow user consent or do not allow group owner consent because some organizations don't want to uh, end users to give the consent. So uh, because of that security reasons, uh, if they change this option to do not allow, then for this RSC permissions enabled app, end users will not able to install the app. End users will see this issue. Only the uh, uh, tenant admin will be able to install the app particular to that particular team channel. But uh, I, I see that is not uh, possible because whenever need to, app need to be added to any team channel, global admin uh, adding app is very hectic job. So for this case, uh, for RSC permissions enabled app to add to any team channel or in personal scope or into meeting scope, right? Uh, so to add this app, these settings need to be changed. Like for example, group owner consent for accessing data. If you change this option, like allow group owner consent for all group owners or for selected owners, if you ch change this option, then uh, that particular group owner, whoever adding app to the team channel, they will get access. They will be able to give the consent. Then app installation will work. But th and this one is for meeting scope and personal scope. So uh, we can allow consent for all apps or we can allow consent for verified publishers. Of all third party apps are mostly uh, verified publishers. So even we can select the second option uh, or third option. So once we select this one, once we change these options, right? We are allowing here by changing the setting, we are allowing end user to give the consent uh, uh, for the applications wherever they are installing the apps. Users can give the consent uh, by enabling this option. So once I save this by changing these options, uh, then I can go back to uh, Teams and I can add the app now. Let me click on Add to Team. Tap tap. So now it should work. Uh, it will prompt to add the particular config tab. So the app installation worked fine now. So mm -hmm. We, end user can install the app. So overall for RSC permissions enabled app, end users will face particular issue. To resolve that issue, we need to enable that option in the uh, Azure Active Directory consent settings, right? We need to allow this, then only the app installation will work. There's no other workaround solution uh, for this issue. Thank you.